Hi there, this is Ranjit from TechToBuzz.com and in this video we're going to have a first look at this LG G Pro Lite which is a mid-range and a very affordable phablet by LG. So let's have a first look at the same. So this is the LG G Pro Lite Dual and this is the official box and the official model name for this one is the LG D686 and uh, it specifies some specification it says that it has a 13.9 inch screen that means it has a 5.5 inch screen and it's an ips grade screen so that's gonna be nice and it's a dual sim phone and it's powered by a one gigahertz processor i'll come to the processor a bit later and it also has a 3140 milliampere battery and it also has an embedded uh, stylus and it has dual speakers as you can see at the bottom we have dual speakers and uh, let me also show you the pricing info and as you can see the price quoted on the box is 22,990 but Faisal Communications quoted me a street price of 19,500 for this phone and I want to thank Faisal Communications for providing this unit for review. And the first thing that I noticed on this LG G Pro Lite is the screen. The 5.5 inch screen is pretty vibrant and it has a pretty good viewing angles and we also get that knock-on feature that we found on the LG G2. And uh, before we proceed, let me give you a physical overview of this phone. Uh, on the top actually we have this uh, 3.5mm headphone jack and we also have a IR blaster. That's amazing because uh, considering the budget oriented price of this phone and using which uh, we can control television, air conditions, etc. I'll show you that a bit later. We have a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. We have that uh, steel finish over here and this is the power on of button. It's a little bit small to my liking and we have an indent over here using which we can open the back cover. I'll show you that a bit later and on the bottom we have those two dual speakers, the main microphone, the micro USB slot that will be used for charging and syncing and on this end again we have the volume rocker and this is a button, this is a special LG button, we can assign it to anything, by default it is assigned to quick memo, I'll talk about it a bit later. Another unique thing is that uh, this phone also has the stylus, for example, as you can see this comes out, here is the stylus and we can take it out and we can use this phone using the stylus also. Again, it is not as advanced as the Samsung Galaxy Note series. We don't have any uh, buttons, etc. But the stylus functionality is there and it neatly tucks in here at the top of the phone like this. And as you can see, I've tucked it in. So that's interesting. So I would say LG has provided a lot of uh, things on this phone considering the budget oriented price. You get a huge 5.5 inch screen. That's a IPS grade screen. For example, let's uh, see. I'm just tilting the phone now to extreme viewing angles. Then also the image does not fade. And this is the uh, toggles we have as usual with LG phones. We have a lot of uh, options here and you can actually customize them like this. You can remove or move this up and down if you want let me just go back and we have these cues light apps these are small apps and we can also control the brightness from here one thing i noticed is that it does not have the auto brightness sensor let's go to the settings and uh, this is familiar if you have used any other lg phones let's go to about the phone and in common let's see the software version and as you can see it runs standard version 4.1.2 that is jelly bean Internal storage uh, on the box it says it has 8 GB. Let's see out of that 8 GB how much storage do we get. Let's go to the storage tab. And out of that uh, 8 GB around 4 GB of space is available to you. We can also add a micro SD card up to 32 GB on this LG G Pro Lite. Again as it's a dual SIM phone we also have this toggle here and you can uh, manage your SIMs from here. Let's also look at the display and uh, again as I said we don't have any auto brightness sensor so you need to manually adjust the brightness. Uh, we have that knock on feature what I was talking about. We can just double tap on the screen to uh, make the phone go to sleep or wake it up. For example, I'll, uh, the phone is open right now and I'll just double tap and it goes to standby. And now we want to open it again so we can use the double tap and as you can see it works. One thing I did notice is that this uh, knock-on feature is not very responsive on this uh, LG G Pro uh, Lite as responsive as the LG G2. As you can see it's a bit patchy. I don't know if this issue is with this unit I have. Double tap to unlock is a little bit patchy. And as you can see 
it is working sometimes or and it's not working sometimes and this has a little bit of 3d effects as you can see and we do get this gesture by which you can see all the home screens and as you can see we have seven home screens on this g pro Lite. and uh, this is the app tray uh, there are some apps that are pre-installed like facebook uh, we do have fm radio on this one and we have lg specific apps like lg backup and another thing that i was talking about is the quick remote and uh, we, this phone does have that uh, ir a blaster over here using which you can control devices like uh, as you can see tvs dvds blu-ray players etc can be controlled with this one it provides a lot of functionality for the price and again lg specific uh, apps now coming to the processor on this uh, this phone has just a one gigahertz dual core processor and that also it's a mediatek uh, processor not a processor by uh, Samsung or uh, Qualcomm like Snapdragon etc but a MediaTek uh, processor which, which is a budget oriented processor also uh, the GPU is a Power VR SCX 531 uh, so again uh, not the fastest processor and GPU uh, but again uh, it's a budget oriented dual sim phone and I think so the biggest factor going for this phone is this 5.5 uh, inch screen which is a IPS grade screen Coming to the screen resolution, uh, it's not a HD screen, but a QHD screen. That means the resolution is uh, five, uh, 540 by 960, which comes to a PPI of around uh, 200. And let me just now quickly open the web browser. And uh, let's just go to our website. That's tech2bus.com. Let's type in here. This is the default keyboard. We have a dedicated row for the numbers. And let's just go to tech2bus.com and let's open the site this is the first time i'm visiting this site on this uh, phone and it loaded very quickly but again as you can see uh pinch to zoom gesture is fairly responsive text is taking up half a second or so to render after we uh, pinch or zoom out but again uh, pretty responsive and let's uh, just open up uh, one of these stories it has a YouTube video let's see if it can play that uh, back without any issues orientation change was also pretty quick and let me just zoom in a little bit and let's try to play back this uh, video Speaker is adequately loud. We have dual speakers. Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we are going to do the in-depth review for this Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and this is going to be a big in-depth review and this review So as you can see, uh, surprisingly it could play that back without any issues. So initial impressions, it looks uh, okay. On the bottom, uh, these are touch type capacitive buttons. That's the back, this is for the home, this is the menu. And this is for switching between SIM 1 and SIM 2 because it's a dual SIM Android phone. On the front, we have a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, we have a earpiece LG branding. Uh, moving towards the back now, we have an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash. It says LG branding. And as I told you, we had an indent over here. And you can use this to open up the back cover like this. This is nothing but standard plastic. And we also have this huge LG branded battery, which is a 3140 milliampere battery. And we can add our two SIMs over here, and we can also add a micro SD card up to 32 GB. Uh, so again, uh, this battery is uh, users are replaceable. For example, we can just take it out easily. So the back cover also opens easily, no issues. Uh, and let's see. Build quality also looks good. There is no creaking noise or anything like that and the screen is adequately bright again i'm impressed by the ips great screen lg always puts good screens and that's the same with this one let's quickly look at the camera performance and we do have this tap to focus functionality so that's nice we just tap in and take this taking the snaps is very quickly but uh, i just noticed that uh, while focusing it takes up to around two seconds it's not the fastest in focusing we just took these two shots so let's look at look at it always we we'll just put it in the gallery and these are the two snaps that we took again do note that this is in completely artificial light 
and looks uh, pretty decent yes there is a little bit of noise here I'll test the camera a lot more in my full in-depth review. Uh, so initial impressions, it looks like a decent Android phone. And for the features that it offers for the price, I would say if the performance is good, this can be a killer phone under rupees 20,000 or so. I'll also be doing a full in-depth review regarding this LG G Pro Lite very soon. So if you have any particular questions regarding this phone, do let me know in the comment section and I'll try to include them in my review. If you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same so that you don't miss out on my reviews. So that's it for now for this quick first looks at this LG G Pro Lite Dual. Thank you for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.